Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new, my name is Arshawn Carter, and on this channel, I like to discuss a variety of different things from life to music and anything in between. And for today's video, I'm going to be discussing and going over nostalgia. Now, I'm sure we've all had a situation in which we, you know, maybe hear a song, we uh, eat a food that we haven't had in a long time, we see a show or a movie that we haven't watched, and um, it kind of just transports us right to when we first saw it you know when it was when times were simpler when it was a lot um innocent you know it just transports us back to our our childhood and with nostalgia it's a very um it's a very bittersweet feeling i'd say um it is good to relive like the past and um just all your glory days so to speak but at the same time it can be kind of like sad in a sense because it's like what Frank Ocean said in uh, the song Ivy. It's like, you know, we're not those kids no more. We'll never be those kids again. And um, it's kind of what it reminds me of. I feel like that encapsulates what nostalgia is to a T. Just thinking back on, the, on those days in which, you know, we'll never be able to relive again. But still having them, you know, locked up in, in, our, in our safe, our memory safe. And with our minds being the filing cabinets that they are, it allows us to to store all of those uh, treasured memories of our childhoods and even um, more recent and be able to just access them and pull them out in which, you know, we're reminded of it or it's like that memory is triggered. You know, you can smell something, you know, just, just out the blue. You can smell something that reminds you of um, the summer of 2003 and you were just having a fun time with your friends. Like it, it could be as descriptive as that. Like you just, you just get triggered by, by, it could be, you know, a song, it could be a lyric, it could be a smell, it could be a, a color that you haven't seen in a while, a flower, and you're just instantly transported into the, um, just the, the simpler times in which you came across it for the first time. Nostalgia also just makes me realize that no matter how old we get, we're all just still big kids at the end of the day, you know, we're all still kids at heart. Um, I've always looked at us adults as just like, you know, big kids. You know, we still have, you know, guilty pleasures, we still have things that make us feel like a kid again and um with nostalgia it kind of helps you cling on to the adolescence so to speak you know i feel like life should never be too serious for to not to, to not be able to have fun um no matter how old we get you know 40 50 60 and so forth um we still should have like that that fountain of youth you know to, to access and i feel like nostalgia is um it's like a cheat code really just a way to it's like it's like a, a time machine in your head this just it's just so fascinating to me the way that we're just able to navigate through one memory to another good or bad just based off you know our five senses and um you know it's something i've always really wanted to like study and go more in depth with to learn because the uh, same thing with like dreams like just all mental stuff is, is stuff that always kind of just intrigues me and just makes me wonder and, and want to know more but when i say you know nostalgia is bittersweet uh it's bitter because you know a lot of us maybe wasn't blessed with a with a good childhood or a childhood worth remembering or um reminiscing upon sorry that the rain is really coming on hard uh, if you guys can hear that so it's, uh, it's pouring over where i'm at but um anyways yeah it's just something you know we don't all have the luxury of just having that that um that perfect uh childhood you know to look back on you know some of us had a really tough upbringing had a childhood that we don't really want to talk about or discuss but um you know sometimes it's just hard to escape with just all all your memories you know you're not able to decide which memories you you're going to forget and not to forget you know our mind works in, in mysterious ways we're gonna we're gonna take what we feel like we should remember and uh, even the things that we would rather not still sometimes gets in this, into that memory bank as well. Nostalgia could also feel bittersweet if you feel as though your past, your childhood was like your peak of life. If you feel like life isn't gonna get any better, you know, prior to the past or after the past, then that's also a reason why nostalgia could feel like it's, it's not a good thing. You know, some of us have like these magical, unforgettable, you know, childhood, teenage years, and yet, once we hit, you know, to reality, once we get adults, we feel like that that magic is is kind of gone and, and diminished. And uh, we shouldn't feel like that. As I alluded to in the beginning, you know, we're, we're all still big kids. Life life should never be too serious to us to have for us to have fun. You know, we shouldn't have to be worried about bills and um, and work and all those other things when 
there's still a lot of, of good in the world. There's still a lot of magic in the world. There's still a lot to be to be done, to, to be seen, to be experienced. And um, we should never box ourselves into this, oh, I can't do it because I'm too old. You know, this this life was, was meant for us to, um, to make the most out of it. You know, make the days count, don't count the days. And, uh, you know, when nostalgia, it can also just be a, a reminder of how far you've come. You know, just looking back, like, wow, I was just this, this bushy-tailed, wide-eyed kid, and now I'm here. You know, I, I've seen and, and been through so much, you know, good and bad. And, um, you know, nostalgia usually highlights the good, but as I said, you know, it could also highlight the bad. And, um, you know, not all, not all memories are good memories. You know, we can still be triggered. Something can trigger us to remember something that we've been trying our hardest to forget. And um, with that, I say is um, don't don't forget, but you know, forgive. You know, forgive yourself. You know, if you put yourself in those situations, forgive whoever put you in those situations. You know, easier said than done. You know, I don't know what what occurred in those situations, but you know, forgive yourself. You know, allow allow yourself to move on. Don't beat yourself up, and um, not allow yourself to move forward with life because of something that happened in the past, whether it was out of your control or not. I feel like it's also extremely important that we live in the moment rather than um, already trying to classify it as a, as a memory. You know, everything is a is a moment until it's past and then it's a memory. If you can't be missing things while it's, they're still going on, you know, say if you're at a at a concert, you know, you're, you're recording everything. Make sure it's just to take in that that moment, that that experience. You know, you're actually there. You know, don't don't hold more emotion and value to you looking back on it. You know, two weeks later on on the on the phone screen rather than you actually being present at the concert. I feel like with our minds, you know, we just we everything good has to come to an end, and I feel like that's what we set our minds to sometimes. Nostalgia can also be looked at as like a, a coping mechanism. Um, looking back just on the, the good days when going through hard times, um, just putting on those rose colored glasses kind of could take you away from what you're dealing with now. But, you know, it's, it's also kind of an, un an unhealthy coping mechanism as well, because you can't just look back on the old days and expect that to be the solution to your problems. You know, you've got to, you know apply that to real life you gotta make the changes now that's that are necessary um you know and not looking back to say like those days are never gonna happen again um you know there's still like i said there's still a lot of fun to be had in life um maybe the most fun you've had in your life was in the past but there's plenty of, of better days ahead for you to to have fun still um you know you can still redo a lot of the things that you did as a kid they may not hit the same you know, they might not feel the same, but just to say that you did it again and things that brought you genuine happiness at one point in time could still do that. Um, you know, you just got to go back to what makes you happy at the end of the day. You go back to what makes you the happiest, the place that makes you the happiest, the things that make you the happiest. And, uh, you know, you, you'll feel like that kid again. And uh, I feel like that's very important, you know, just try to break break away from our day to day cycles, our adult you know responsibilities you know you still gotta still gotta find it's, it's a balance you know you still gotta find just that that whenever you're available that whatever time you have to just still live to still be able to be that kid you know you're never too old to to ex still experience life you know what i mean it's like there's there's never anything that you you're never gonna have everything completely checked off your list in life and uh you know that that's make you excited you know each and every day you figure out something new to do um something that maybe you couldn't do as a kid you know get that adult nostalgia you know get something where yeah you're maybe like 25 30 looking back at when you're like 5 10 but then you could also be you know 50 60 looking back on when the age you are now so uh you know nostalgia is always going to be something that that we have to just come to grips with you know like i said it's a good and bad thing for me just depending on what i'm nostalgic about and why i'm nostalgic it typically is a good thing like i said it just really reminds me of how far i've come and uh how much further i want to go but on the on the downside it's like when life gets tough it's like wow i wish i could just take this time machine and take me back to when i all i had to worry about was just 
homework, you know, stuff like that. Or how, how am I beat this level in this video game I'm playing? Just small problems like that. But, you know, now we, we got to deal with just whatever life throws at us. You know, and back then, you know, we weren't even thinking about that. We we had these rose-colored glasses on, and our problems were just so small, you know, compared to the, to the rest of the world and to the adults. But, you guys, I just wanted to make this quick little video about uh, nostalgia. I don't know. I feel like something about rainy days and nostalgia goes like hand in hand with me i don't know i just i don't know i just feel like with rainy days you just you're just kind of at peace you know it's soothing can't help but to just think and look back and reminisce like for example rainy days like this like at school um we wouldn't be able to go out to the playground so what they would do is they would just have like this this little portable tv sitting on like a stand with wheels they would reel it into like this uh the hall in which we all had our classes in and then we would just all sit on the floor in like this big group and uh just watch a movie you know whether it was like bill and i or like a disney movie or just like some type of animated movie and um you know those are good times you know that that's that's really what the rain reminds me of just looking back just being in inside you know watching movies or uh, playing board games or being on the computer just uh just making the most out of your of what you have like your circumstances you know at school we, we would all love to go to recess and just, you know, play, you know, tetherball, kickball. But we knew when the rain came, it was an inside day and we just had to be real creative and uh, use our imagination and just uh, play with what was given to us. And uh, but yeah, not, not to get too far off track, but um, yeah, nostalgia is a very powerful thing. Like I said, it's bittersweet, but um you know, there's still more memories to be made. You know, if you're if you really find yourself extremely caught up with the past and you feel like, you know, you hit your peak, um, you know, you haven't. You know, there's still a lot of great days to be to be had, a lot of memories to be made. And, um, you know, it's up to you, you know, just find things to do. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll have that, that feeling again of, of being a kid. But, um, yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if anything in this video resonated with you, uh, please don't refrain from leaving a like, comment, subscribing, sharing. And um, yeah, if it's raining where you guys are at, uh, stay dry, uh, stay safe, drive safe. And um, see you guys in the next video. Peace.